Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, again, upon popular request, you wanted me finally to watch Numan Ali Khan with his video when they insult our prophet Muhammad. May peace be upon him. As I said previously on this channel, in the past I was watching David Wood, AP and whatnot, and it was just the norm and everyday occurrence to insult Prophet Muhammad. Ha ha ha, Prophet Muhammad, such an evil man, warlord and whatnot. The anti-Islam front was adamant in insulting Prophet Muhammad. During that time, I didn't listen to the Muslim perspective. During that time, I simply didn't care about the Muslim perspective. I thought it is righteous to even insult that man, this antichrist that goes against Christianity. Today, for the first time, I'm going to listen to the Muslim perspective and hear what they have to say about Prophet Muhammad and when he is insulted. Let's have a look. A dog barking cannot harm the sun. It's too high up. Let these people spit whatever they want. That cannot take anything away from the nobility of our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says, رَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ I like this attitude, man. You have to understand, no matter what anybody says about you, about your family, about your prophet, or even about God has any effect on you or let alone on God or the prophets. It is only detrimental to the person saying it. We raised your mention. When Allah raises something, no creation can bring it down, people. Exactly. Man. No creation can bring it down. Preach. Anybody who studies the Quran seriously knows that Allah records on multiple occasions how prophets were insulted, how they were made fun of, how they were rejected in the most obscene ways, and how even they, the prophets themselves felt the pain of those disbelievers making fun of them. Nuh alayhi salam complains about how people found him disgusting and that they would plug their ears you know, with their fingers and walk away from him and pull their clothes back as a show of insult to him. Wow. And our prophet is no exception, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This Quran that honors our prophet also at the same time records the most hurtful words that were said to him, that the Prophet himself would have to recite and remind himself of the words that were said about him. Sahir, magician, right. you know, majnoon, insane, kathab, a perpetual liar. So many accusations are made against our Prophet wasallam. You must be doing something right when you get insults like this. All recorded in the Quran, Allah wants us to remember that this is a fact. That all prophets, the most, though they are the most noble of Allah's creation, and that Allah Himself has honored them, at the same time are people that will face the worst kinds of insults and the worst sure. kinds of ridicule. But what is supposed to be the reality? And they can take it, man, because they're strong people chosen by God. They understand the psychology of people. They understand the spiritual sickness within people as well. Therefore, they do not take those insults like your average layman. Action. And if anybody's supposed to be angry and just be overwhelmed with rage when the Prophet is insulted, I would argue it would be his companions, whose faith can't even be compared to yours and mine. But how come they don't react the way we do? How come they're not having any protest? How come right. they're not going out and you know, uh, uh, yelling and screaming in rage? Because they understand that the Quran didn't just come to give them a love for their Prophet, but also to guide that love and to also teach them how to respond to these kinds of insults. How is it that we don't know that the Prophet himself is told Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَاسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ Be patient over whatever they say. I'm fascinated by this ayah because the word ma means whatever. Whatever they say. Exactly Not whatever right. they've said. Patience is a virtue. Whatever they might even come up with. And the mudari form in the Arabic suggests what they may have said in the past, but the present and even the future till this day. Doesn't the Prophet's matter. policy is to be patient himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right on. Where in the Quran does it justify our anger like this? And actually, is our anger even justified? If anything, I argue, the one thing we should feel towards those who hate us and make hateful speech towards Muslims is sorrow. We should feel sorry for these people. If at they all. They can't hurt the Prophet. Anger is from the devil, man. They can't Don't fall for the trap. Honor. It was given from the sky. It was given from Allah. Nothing on earth can take it away. No article, no cartoon, no film, no speaker, no hate speech, you know, no form of art. And it's not going to take away the dignity of our Prophet No and chance. And these films and these kinds of attempts are futile, wasteful attempts 
to try to undermine the message of Islam and to misrepresent Islam. But And they defile the people that created them. Think about it. Us reacting in this emotional manner and engaging in senseless violence, is this not also misrepresenting Islam? 100%. Aren't we doing exactly what people want, you know, the enemies of Islam want for Islam to be misrepresented? When somebody creates an action and you respond emotionally, you're lost. If anything makes me angry, That's it. it's the anger at our own selves that we don't understand the policy of the Quran and how to res res respond to insults. Good man. Respond with that which is best. Finally, I want to share with you guys, some people think that this was an early policy in Islam, that in the Meccan time of the Prophet, that he was supposed to be passive. But when the Prophet migrated, he, and battles began like Badr and Uhud and Ahzab and Tabuk, etc. Now the policy was not to be patient, and therefore we should take that. Let's look at Ali Imran, the battle of Uhud. What does Allah say to us? وَلَا تَسْمَعُنَّ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا أَذًا كَثِيرًا You will absolutely hear hurtful words from those who were given the book way before you and people who commit idolatry and blasphemy with God. You will hear word, hurtful speech absolutely coming from them. These kinds of things are a manifestation, a proof that Allah prepared us mentally for that. But what was supposed to be our reaction? God Himself tells us, Allah Himself tells us, وَلَا إِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ بِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ If you can be patient and you can maintain your consciousness of Allah, then that is the most noble of deeds, the highest of accomplishments that you can accomplish. Absolutely beautiful. That is supposed to be the, the reaction of the Muslim. 100%. This, this is a response of a believer, man. If you get angry, if you get emotional, you do not really know God. Watch by what? 30 people? This loser and his cousins? Before we gave it support. We made it popular. We're the ones that are giving it more flame. And I, I, I want to end with this. You know, in school, bullies tease the kid that they know takes the teases and gets, you know, it, 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 they, he shows a reaction. The more we react in this way, the more we're encouraging others to, you know, pursue more hateful speech. That's right. We have to learn to respond in mature, civil, and higher discourse the way the Quran and the Sunnah of our Messenger, the legacy of our Prophet expects from us. I pray that this is a message that reaches all of my young brothers and sisters that are feeling the sadness, the, the, the rage because of this incident. But I hope to turn that rage and I hope you can turn that rage into so something don't, positive. So don't watch I mean. this stuff. And if a new controversy comes out about some cartoon or something else, don't go look at it. Don't go look at it. Then you, if you go look at it, you're part of the problem. No, 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 I was just looking at it to see what they do. So I could say Astaghfirullah. No, you are part of the hit count. They're ca yeah, he's absolutely right, man. If you're against something, for example, you're against pornography, then you don't go to porn pages just to check. Counting how many hits that video got, or how many clicks this image got, yeah. and you are now counted among them. You made it popular. You know, when a video becomes popular, when a, a video has a million hits, then the next person clicks it because it has a million hits. True. When it has 10 million hits, you look at it, hey, it got 10 million hits, it must be good. It must be something. <laughs> and most if of the time it's not. If you are part of that hit count, <laughs> then you are partly responsible for making it popular. We have to ignore this nonsense altogether. A dog barking cannot harm the sun. It's too high up. Let these people spit whatever they want. That cannot take anything away from the nobility of our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah says, رَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ we raised your mention. When Allah raises something, no creation can bring it down, people. No creation can bring it down. They can say whatever they want. Whatever they want. It will change nothing. It will change That's nothing. Right. It will take nothing away from the nobility of our Messenger And we have to adopt the prophetic model in responding to these insults. When the messenger would be you know, insulted and a poet would come in instead of calling him Muhammad, call him Mudhammam. He would say, he's not talking about me, it's someone else. It's someone else. This, this is not our messenger, this is some twisted version of whatever they have in their head. You know, Al-Ina' bima fihi yallah. We cannot get so reactionary. Muslims have to show a higher level, a more sophisticated level of response to these people. It's true. To this craziness. And by the way, when we act crazy, then they turn around and say, see, we told you these people are crazy. Proved it.
Alright guys, and this is it, the first time reacting to Numan Ali Khan, very, very impressed with his deliverance, with his speech over here, absolutely nailed it, he is correct when it comes down to the behavior of Muslims. This is how we in the West perceive Muslims, as crazy, as overly emotional, arrogant, etc, etc. Of course, this is a push by the media, and of course, it is a provocation as well by the media, and therefore, they get that exact reaction but this is the reaction that they are looking for man and this is the reaction that we then see within the west and this is why we have such a bad image of islam but moreover in the end he said that the muslims have to become more sophisticated and i do agree with that this is why in the day of the internet with all the debates going on this is extremely important for muslims to participate and to even step up their game to even understand their own religion more so they can represent islam in in a better fashion theologically socially and of course spiritually as well very very impressed with his speech i'm definitely looking forward to react to more of his videos thank you so much for the recommendation guys all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support my channel via patreon for example all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for that as well as always may god bless you all much love and peace.